and we're ready okay guys so I'm gonna do a little bit of a short video I'm gonna pretty much rush around some of the parts here just trying to show you what I'm working on for this in October and uh, well let's let's give it a start first off just to give you a quick explanation on what I'm doing I did this rough rough super rough sketch of one of the machines that I'm going to be working on did it on ink but it's on regular bond paper and uh, it's really really messy and rough so I'm going to do a better version of this and I'm using special ink paper here, it's a couche paper, very light and we're going to be using very few instruments, I'm actually only using a couple of things for this Inktober I'm using the Stedler 005 01 and an 02 and I don't know if you can see them there but there's all of them are very very fine and basically what we're gonna do is we're gonna do a little bit of clean inking on this paper alright so the other thing that I wanted to show you was this light box that I'm totally in love with it's an A4 size and I just got it from Hong Kong I believe somewhere around the globe so let's get this puppy on the road okay so you're gonna notice something really weird not weird but basically what I'm doing here on my process is I'm starting with all the rough rough very very thick line work here and even saying thick line work is kind of an oxymoron because I like to work with very fine detail most of the time but once we get into the finer finer details you're gonna see what I'm talking about now I don't always work like this this I almost feel like I'm cheating here to be honest but it's the only way that I can actually cope with the finishing Inktober and finishing all the pending projects that I've got because I have quite a few freelances going on right now and pending projects that I have to deliver so I can't fail my clients that's a big big no-no for anybody in any kind of profession trying to work as a professional you know trying to make things happen for themselves now one thing that I do a lot is I do have my my rough sketches going on here and a lot of the times I'm going to be doing some major modifications to the work because I'm not completely happy with the, the initial idea or I'm coming up with something that might work a little better on the way so it's not engraved in stone you know and also sometimes I notice that there's things that aren't gonna be very feasible on the final illustration so sorry if my throat sounds a little hoarse I might be coming down with the flu I totally hate it you guys have no idea how much I love it don't get sick very often when I do, it's usually something very, very serious. So technically I'm tracing. I don't know if this counts as cheating or not, but I am tracing my own work. So theoretically speaking, I'm not. I guess it's one of those existentialist questions, right? So people have asked me a couple of weird things watching my work or watching me work which I usually don't mind unless they're sticking their heads right in the middle of what I'm doing which is super annoying if you're not an illustrator and you tend to do that to your illustrator friends don't I promise you they're all all of them are thinking about stabbing you in the eye with their markers I know I have okay this is actually coming out quite nicely and I did discover that doing these rough ink sketches where I really don't care about line quality and basically just blocking out shapes and areas working a little on my light, on my light compositions um, once I'm doing the clean work afterwards it's super super fast I mean it, it becomes almost uh, second nature thing going on with your hand that it kind of knows where it's supposed to go in a way because you are kind of sort of almost tracing I know I still haven't decided on whether that's a good or bad thing and um, 
The other reason is because you were already working on this. Okay, something really important on this is that this paper will take on ink really quick and the final result is awesome, but it takes quite a while to dry up. So if I were to touch any fresh parts right now, I would make a glorious smeary cluster but basically gotta be real real careful with this paper this one's very similar to couche the one used on magazines and it's it's glossy it's really nice i always love the result on these but it does have that little drawback going on top part's pretty much done, at least on the first pass. Now, I'm repeating myself in mentioning that this is the first pass here, first pass there. Now, why am I saying that? Because once I'm done with this initial blocking of everything in finer detail, I'm actually not even working on details yet, I'm separating all my spaces, because I'm after actually gonna go afterwards over this and start adding all the real details. This is just the rough outline. 